This is module three, lesson seven homework, the second side. Number two, Ari sells six boxes of pens at the school store. A, each box of pens sells for $7. Draw a tape diagram and label the amount of money he makes as M. Write an equation and solve for M. Some important information I need to know. He has six boxes of pens. Each box is $7. I'm being asked to draw a tape diagram and to label the total as M. I also have to write an equation. So I'm going to start with my tape diagram. If I look at the numbers I've highlighted, six boxes and each are seven. So I know I'm going to draw a picture that involves six boxes. There's my six boxes of pens. And each box sells for seven dollars. His total money is represented with an M. When I look at this problem, I see that I have my groups of six and my size of seven dollars. I'm missing my total. When I see groups and size, I know I have to multiply. So I'm going to multiply six times seven dollars. To make this easier for myself, I'm going to break apart the six, and I'm going to break that apart into five times seven dollars plus one times seven dollars. <coughs> so I will start with five times seven dollars. I'm going to count by fives seven times. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, 30, 35. 5 times 7 is $35. Then I'm going to add the total of 1 times $7. 1 times $7 is $7. Next I will add or $35 plus $7 to give me my total. I just reread the instructions and I forgot to write equals M. $35 plus $7. Using my fingers to count up. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. $35 plus $7 equals $42. So I can come back to my tape diagram and write M equals 42. Letter B. Each box contains six pens. Draw a tape diagram and label the total number of pens as P. Write an equation to solve and solve for P. I have to remember that I already found the total boxes, six boxes. Now they're telling me that each box contains six pens. I need to draw a tape diagram, label the total as P, and then write an equation and solve for P. So I'm going to start again with my tape diagram. I still have six boxes of pens, so my groups have not changed. However, this time I don't have selling boxes for $7. I know that I have six pens in each box. I am missing my total number of pens. 
So again, I have the groups, six boxes, and the size, six pens in each box, but I am missing the total. So I will multiply six times six, which will equal P. I will again use my break apart strategy to help me. And I will break that six apart into five times six plus one times six. Five times six, I'm going to count by fives six times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5 times 6 is 30. Then I'm going to add the total for 1 times 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 30 plus 6 is 36. So I can come back to my tape diagram and write P equals 36. Number three, Mr. Lucas divides 28 students into seven equal groups for a project. Draw a tape diagram and label the number of students in each group as n. Write an equation and solve for n. So I know Mr. Lucas divides 28 students into seven equal groups. I'm not only hearing the numbers I need, but those, no those words are telling me exactly what those numbers mean. Draw a tape diagram and label the number of students in each group as N. Then I have to write an equation and solve for n. So I'm drawing my tape diagram. Mr. Lucas has 28 students in his class. He makes seven equal groups. I do not know how many students are in each group, so I'm going to label that as n. I do also need to remember to label seven groups. When I look at my tape diagram, I see I have a total of 28 students. I have the amount of groups that I need, but I am missing my size. When I'm missing a size, I'm going to divide 28 divided by 7 will give me n. I'm going to use my break apart strategy to break apart 28 into smaller numbers I can divide by 7. I'm going to try 21 divided by 7. If I put 21 in my head and count up to 28, I can count 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. That's showing seven fingers, and I'm going to also divide that by seven. The reason I chose 21 is because it is a multiple of seven, and it is an easy number that I can count by with sevens. So I'm going to count by sevens until I get to 21. 7, 14, 21. That is three sevens. I'm going to do the same thing for seven divided by seven. Counting by sevens until I get to seven. Seven. That is one seven. I can add three plus one to find out how many sevens I have to count when I divide 28 divided by seven. Three plus one is four. I can also look here and count one seven, two sevens, three sevens, four sevens. That's another way 
that I can find, the answer is 7. Coming back to my tape diagram, I can label N equals 4. 